guys, welcome back to JCL Lifestyle. And this is vlog number two. And this is the continuation of my Chattanooga exploration. Mm -hmm. As I said in the last vlog, we will be discussing Incline Rail and Ruby Falls in this vlog. I'm gonna put the link to the combo tickets at the bottom because I'm all about saving the money. Do not buy these tickets singular buy it as a combo so here we go incline rail lookout mountain you're like lookout mountain again yes lookout mountain again it's the same mountain that we visited at rock city it's just a different section of the mountain it's a very big mountain okay guys so i'm at the incline railroad and this is what i'm going on we're gonna go up here because I'm gonna see how far we're gonna go. She has the tickets. <laughs> so this is how it is. So, Incline Railway is known as America's most amazing mile. This railway played a pivotal role in the American Civil War history. Yes, my people, it did. So I'm on top of the mountain and this is the lookout point as I just showed you. Um, this apparently was used in the olden days for carrying medicine to get sick people, pregnant people to the hospital. It was a means of transportation. So I'm learning the sudden the sudden information that I'm supposed to learn here. So it's it's interesting so far. I'm just kinda afraid of height. So I'm not going up too close. So hey guys, I will be heading back down this mountain on this little railway. <laughs> down here. I don't know how I made it up here but I made it. It has a nice view of the city. Two other battles occurred in Chattanooga during that time, but not at Lookout Mountain, within the same year, 1863. So years after the battle, nosy tourists like me and you wanted to see where did this amazing battle happen? I want to see. So tours were organized by the owners of the land, but these tours took approximately four long hours to get there and these were buggy ride tours like no uh, uh, no 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 hence someone decided to construct a more suitable mode of transportation to get to the mountain and da -da, the first ever train slash machine used to get to the top of the mountain and in 1895 incline 2 was built but it was built at a more steeper grade at a 72.7 grade to be exact and all of my engineering people who know what that means know that it's just pretty steep okay so we're gonna head back down the rail now back on we're gonna head back down this long rail so you guys know already that i'm hella afraid of heights and this railroad is known as the steepest railroad in the world. So, no, I do not have any views of me going up or down in the train. However, it's a 360 view. There are windows on both sides of the train. So if you like that kind of stuff, you can see the lovely valleys and the mountains and all the little vegetation going up. In addition, to ease your mind, there's an educational audio playing in the background on the train ride about the history of the railroad, about the Union forces and the Confederate soldiers, and about everything that I basically told you. It is a pretty short ride, about 10 to 15 minutes. However, to get back down, there's quite a wait. You have to wait for about 45 minutes to an hour before another train comes to pick you up. No worries though, you won't be bored. There's a lot of activities up there. It has gift shops, food stalls. They have different museums where they explain in depth the Civil War and what happened during that time, as I said, in 1863. Also, 
their views at the lookout point you can go you see the whole chattanooga city and a lovely view of the tennessee river which i found quite alluring so i had a little issue my issue was unlike rock city over here at the incline railway i had to pay for parking mm, like ugh. but it wasn't that expensive um secondly there are scheduled rides so for example if it has a ride at 4 and another one at 4 30 that's how they do it so i advise you to go there like an hour before the time you want to go because of course with any of these lovely activities there are long lines so we're off to ruby falls ruby falls is known as america's tallest and deepest underground waterfall it is approximately 260 feet deep into the lookout mountain so you have to get there by elevator on the way to ruby falls people it is a guided tour which will take you approximately 1120 feet deep underground which takes about one hour to 75 minutes back and forth walking yes walking during the tour you're walking through this cave pathway and one thing I found super interesting is that it was stated that the temperature within the cave stays the same no matter what is happening outside it could be super hot super cold and snowing it's still the same temperature so that's nice so while you're walking through the cave you're gonna see numerous geological formations formations of a cactus formations of candle and formations of niagara falls which was super awesome it's a lovely sight children will love it hey guys we're gonna walk to the falls right now it's right here one important point to make the ceilings are very low the area is very tight and narrow so if you are claustrophobic this tour is not for you you might have a panic attack it's like that because they need to preserve the area it is a cave second tip is wear proper clothing and comfortable shoes as i said this tour is a long tour is a quite a bit of walking also sadly this tour is not wheelchair accessible and this is because of the very narrow pathways because they need to preserve the site so thank you for exploring chattanooga with me it was amazing <laughs> and stay tuned for many more of my adventures au revoir